Hey guys, um, today I want to talk to you about some things that you should really consider having in your boat. And it's about 15 things, and for you and your circumstance, you may need, you know, maybe less or more. But um, <clears throat> I want to go over this with you. Okay, first of all, you see that rubbing alcohol and hydrogen peroxide? I got the flesh eating disease on my ring finger on this hand. Um, I got like a, like a vibrio and I was in the hospital and I was actually dying okay a lot of people die from it and you can see I can still move my finger um, and I was actually dying like a red streak streaks going up my arm and everything and I've been on the strongest antibiotics the um, hospital had and a preacher actually came and uh, prayed for me and anointed me with oil and I'm alive and my I didn't lose my finger but a lot of people may lose their you know like a you know they may get amputation or something and they may die but I survived but <clears throat> if I would have had uh, I may have even had it on the boat, but I didn't use it. But um, I cut my finger on braid fishing line, I guess, and um, I got a bacteria in it from the from the um, intercoastal here in uh, Fort Pierce. So, um, anyways, if you're going fishing, these are some of the things you should really consider having in your boat. Okay, so one is like a pair of gloves. Okay, um, really important. Um, you need at least two knives. You need some type of uh, D hooker, um, you know, whatever type you guys prefer. And it's good to have at least two pairs of pliers. You know, you might need to hold the fish um, by, by, by the mouth or something and then, you know, have another one in the, you know, to grab the hook. Uh, these scissors are amazing. Be careful because I cut my finger on them a while ago. What's the brand? Is that Cuda? Um, also, it's really nice to have gulp. You know, if you, maybe it's hard for you to find bait, or maybe you need to catch ladyfish to use as bait. Um, guys, this stuff is amazing. So, hydrogen peroxide is also good. Another thing is good is a uh, gaff, a landing net, and a net for the bait, and of course, um, a set of paddles. Um, because you never know, like, if the motor goes bad, whatever happens, maybe you have bad fuel or something. For me, I like to have a kicker motor as well. But it's also good to have a set of paddles, um, and also you want to you want a cast net. So there should be at least two cast nets in this bucket. Um, and I really like cast nets. If you guys watch my other videos, you may um, in some of my other videos you may see how to throw a cast net or whatever. If you want to check that out, I don't like using my uh, my mouth when I do a cast net. I just don't I don't, don't like to put the stuff in, the, in my mouth. So you can check out my, um, you know how to do that. But um, I also have more. Uh, cast nets even over here. This isn't you may not you know nest be like wired, but um whatever. Anyways, so guys, this is what I would really recommend. So how many things is that? It's like a set of oars. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, uh, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. About fourteen, maybe the gold from fifteen, whatever. Um, you know, I actually, you know, I like I like having knives. Like here's another knife. Um. Here's like another set of pliers. Here's another knife. You know, here's like another knife. I like, I like knives and I like pliers. Um, but you know, whatever you, you should get, carry at least two knives. You know, maybe you want like one knife that's really good at flaying. Maybe another one that you don't care as much about. You know, to like um, just to cut up bait and stuff. You know, or whatever. So, anyways, that's my uh, tip for you guys. Um, but I definitely recommend get these. Two things on the boat with you also maybe consider some uh, super glue as well um, but whatever you know check into that see if you're comfortable with that so anyways guys thank you so much for watching if you like this tip please give it a thumbs up uh, thank you so much for watching and have a great day bye